Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today I'm going to talk to you about scrapping metals. Uh, I took a trip down to the refinery, and uh, I brought a lot of the scrap that I've bought over the past two picking seasons. Um, I kept a lot of it uh, until I had enough where it was worth making the trip, because uh, I get a really good rate where I go. And uh, a lot of the stuff you've seen in the videos, you know, everything from a sterling knife handle to, uh, you know, earrings and rings and necklaces, all that jewelry you know, the bookmark, uh, pretty much anything that's not, that has no premium over its melt value. Um, and I took that down to uh, the refiner, and now I thought to myself, if I would have scrapped all that stuff that I got last summer, last summer, I would have gotten, you know, 45 bucks or so uh, per troy ounce of silver. And this summer, obviously everybody here who's watching knows that silver went down to about 26 bucks an ounce. So I figured I'd be losing money. So what I decided to do is I asked uh, if I could do a trade for uh, coins and bullion. And, uh, you know, my contact, who I'm friendly with, said, no problem, you know, same rate as before, just, uh, you know, it's a trade instead of for cash. So I'll tell you what I brought down and what I got, and uh, you can tell me if you think it was a smart idea or not, because last year the ratios were the same, um, and uh, I would have gotten the same trade-wise that I got now, uh, but if I traded for cash, I would have gotten less. So I traded 0.8 penny weights of 10 karat gold, 18.9 penny weights of 14 karat gold, and 12.23 troy ounces of silver. And this is what I got. Uh, the first thing I got are two silver American Eagles. Um, this one is a 2003. Uh, sorry about the shadow. Uh, like I said I'm, in my previous video, I'm trying to uh, do a little bit better. Uh, you know, quality of video-wise. I'm going to figure out how to do that, but for now, just bear with me. Uh, as you can see, it's a 2003. It's in pretty good condition. You know, it's not uh, in mint or anything like that, but, you know, it's a nice silver piece. And this one's a 1999. It's got some dirt on it, but, uh, you know, I got it for the bullion. Uh, so those are just two nice, um, you know, American Silver Eagles that I got. Next, I got three art bars. Now these are my first art bars. I never had any before. Uh, but this one is a Lincoln Continental Mark IV um, you know, Lincoln art bar. And uh, it's got a picture of the car on the front. And on the back, it has you know, details about the car. You know, it's length and weight and, you know, other unnecessary details about the Lincoln Continental Mark IV. It says, Made in the USA. And over here it says limited edition 999 fine silver. And that's what we're really looking for, isn't it? So that's one ounce. I got it because it's, you know, a collector's edition. I thought if I wanted to sell it eventually it would appeal both to silver uh, enthusiasts and automotive enthusiasts. Uh, so I thought that was a good idea. I haven't seen any on eBay, but so I don't know exactly how much they're worth over spot, but I think they are worth a little bit over spot. Next thing I got is a one ounce pure silver, 999 fine, with a bust of Abraham Lincoln. It says Abraham right under, underneath it. And the reason I got this one is because it has a serial number. Now, I don't have any, like I said, I don't have any uh, art bars, but I wanted one with a silver, uh, serial number. Uh, and this one I thought was nice. And a lot of silver enthusiasts are also uh, American history buffs. So I thought that uh, in case I want to sell it, you know, I'll have a good market for that too. And finally, um, I got this. It is a Israel's 25th anniversary. It says Shalom, and it says 1948 to 1973. And I'll show you with the loop. In little teeny tiny letters, it says one ounce 999 silver. Um, and uh, those are the three art bars. So I got three art bars and two silver eagles. So that's five ounces of pure 999 silver. But that was just the excess after I got what I really wanted. And I will show you that right now. Over here, I have, I don't know if you've ever seen a case like this or know what it is, but it is a United States Constitution Coins set. And over here, the first one is a silver dollar from 1986. Ellis Island, Gateway to America, and God We Trust with the S Mint mark. And I'll show you the other side. The other side is the quote from the Statue of Liberty, where it says, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. 
and it's one dollar United States of America. So that's a silver dollar. I believe that's 90 percent. And over here next to it is a nice little hunk of gold. It says 1986 Liberty. I'll show you with the loop. It's a little clearer. See some nice details. You see W, which I believe means it was minted in West Point. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. And check out the other side. You know, typical American eagle with uh, United States of America, $5. So I think that's really, really nice. And I saw, um, I don't remember if it was this one. I'll show you uh, the next thing I got, which is a second one. This one is from 1987, and this one is a uh, Constitution 200th anniversary, and uh, you can see, you know, it says "We the People," and that's a nice-looking coin over there. And the front, I believe, are the signers of the Constitution, holding the Constitution. So that's pretty cool. One dollar, United States of America, and uh, this also has an S mint mark on it. And next to it is another nice little 1987 gold coin, five dollar gold coin. And on this side, this side is really nice. I really like the feather design. It says "We the People." You know, it's got the quill. Five dollars, bicentennial of the Constitution. E pluribus unum, September 17, 1737, United States of America. So, I got, all in all, for what I told you, which was 12.23 troy ounces of silver, 18.9 pennyweights of 14 karat gold, 0.8 pennyweights of 10 karat gold, I got these two Constitution coin sets, uh, which is two $5 gold pieces and two uh, $1 silver dollars, two silver eagle bullion coins, and three different uh, one ounce fine silver art bars. So, I think I did pretty well. I'm very happy with my purchase. Um, I looked up on eBay these two coin sets, and I don't remember which was which, but uh, I'll look again. But I believe the 1986 one uh, sells for uh, significantly more than the other one. The other one sells for about its melt value, which is a little over $400, um, and the other one sold for over a thousand dollars. So I don't know if it's a special edition. If somebody has information on this, um, you know, above its, uh, you know, about its value over the uh, the melt value, please let me know. Um, let me hear your comments on uh, on my purchase uh, or my trade rather. Um, I'm happy with it, but uh, let's see what you guys would have done. Anyway, uh, these are off to my. Uh, security box, my safety deposit box at the bank, um, and uh, it'll be added to my bullion collection. Alright, so this has been Silver Picker. Hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, please uh, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I love reading your comments. Uh, rate the video and send it to your friends. Alright, so Silver Picker out.